Hi, y'all. So I wanted to come back and talk to you about the astrology behind Kendrick and Drake. Now, what's really cool about this is that Uranus and Jupiter went in conjunction in Taurus, okay? There is a level here that I think people are not seeing, which is the power of this to open and unlock an income for an underprivileged level of whatever you want to call it. Maybe it's music, maybe it's money. But there's definitely something here that's unlocking and freeing a rags to riches story for a very specific group of people. People who uh, could not find themselves maybe with the silver spoon in their mouth. All of a sudden, you're given that opportunity with this conjunction. And I actually kind of see it in a way where I would see Kendrick, right? I'm going to just play around with this as... <laughs> I, I would definitely see him as Uranus, and I would see, oh, but Adonis, and I would probably see Drake as possibly Uranus and Kendrick as Jupiter. See, when I first was going to do this, I was going to switch it, but they're both interchanging these energies. So Uranus is going to be unpredictability, which I think Kendrick exhibits so far. But it's very possible that Drake could also exhibit this. And then Jupiter is the higher wisdom, which most people would probably say that Kendrick has. So I was just playing around with this and seeing if there is a cosmic story that is unfolding here. But when we look at their actual charts, okay, <clears throat> and we look at North Node in Aries, Currently, the North Node is approaching Kendrick's North Node. So his North Node in Aries is here to help him unlock his warrior spirit and to unlock these new talents of, he, the, he, of his, these upgraded types of talents that he has in being a warrior and a fighter. But guess what? Drake has it as well. I mentioned this in my previous video that he has this as 20 degrees Aries. So the, north, the current North Node has passed over his already. So Drake has the, the, um, you know, the touch of that energy still present in his chart. So they're both destined to be, the North Node of Destiny shows us that they're both destined to be warriors, they're both destined to be fighters over something. So we are seeing a real match, a real head to head. And it is one of like the story of your love swords, like really going head to head, fighting for what you love and what you believe. With Drake having what it looks like, according to Astro Theme, his um, energy in the ninth house, it feels more like he's fighting to stay on that high cloud, that optimistic, fun, partying energy, you know, the laughing guru, and stay there. That's what he's fighting for. That's what he needs to win. And Kendrick has his in the area of the chart that's about technique, and it's about work ethic, about service as well. So that's what he's fighting for. And I think we could see these themes you know, even with Astro theme, we're not really sure, but based off of here, you know, this kind of does seem to be that way. The next thing I wanted to talk about is that they both have mercury water element. Now, mercury in your chart is your style of communication. That's the way that you speak, the style and swag that you handle things when you are communicating with people. And so they both have an emotionally driven agenda. Okay. Um, Drake's actually is more lethal than, most, you know, on a bias cliche level with his Mercury being in Scorpio. Feels more like I, he could keep going. He has the sustenance, the emotional sustenance to keep going emotionally. Okay, um, for Kendrick, I feel like this is his cancer emotions are way more connected to parenting, which I think that we kind of see there. But also, he is an instigator, an initiator of heat with his Mercury in Cancer. So he is the boiling water, you know, and um, the water starting to boil. And um, Drake is the one who's willing to sustain that boiling water. 
So that's how I see it when it comes to the Mercury. It's very possible that, you know, things completely quiet down, but I do see the energy to fight and for the spirit of the masculine and the divine masculine to experience this upgrade of what it means to fight for, what to fight for. And I think it's a very healing moment for the divine masculine. So it's a very exciting time. And if you guys want to know more about your north nodes, you can check the north node worksheets down below. Also, the transit that's currently happening with Jupiter and Uranus. I've been getting good feedback on those worksheets. People have been liking the questions and uh, working with the worksheets and unlocking what is your genius that's coming out of you at this time, right? So check those out, you guys, and I'll see you in the next videos I'm about to drop. Peace and love.